Okay, so some ways that I feel I have possibly advanced as a speaker would be in the areas of somewhat confidence, I guess, and maybe writing my speeches. Um, although on the ceremonial speech I did have problems, um, I do feel that after getting help I kind of understand it more. Okay, the most important theory I feel I've learned is the theory of the motivated sequence. Um, I don't think it would apply to my everyday life personally, but I don't quite know the chapter it was found in either, but the reason it's important to me would be it kind of helped walk you through what you needed in the speech and how it was supposed to go about it. If I was teaching this course next semester, I personally would kind of do the introduction speech, except not require them to have three things, just kind of let them tell about themselves for maybe a minute or two, so it doesn't have to be like three to five minutes on what you like to do in your hobbies. Um, I would probably stop at the ceremonial speech like we did this semester and I definitely would not do the historical speech evaluation I might do the professional speech evaluation and I would have liked to continue with the professional speeches and maybe kind of commenting on them or possibly looking at another one and seeing how compared to our other one uh, I chose this topic just kind of off on a whim. It was kind of someone I knew, knew well-ish. And they have had an impact over small in my life, and I wanted to give them a toast. I researched my topic through Google. Uh, it wasn't the best idea, as I didn't know quite all the tips and tricks to monitoring Google, such as you can... Look up certain phrases with quotation marks or add, minus, delete, stuff you don't want to show, such as Wikipedia. Um, my delivery I practiced with just kind of ran through my note cards, hoping to have all my ducks in a row. I didn't exactly establish my credibility on my sources. Me as a speaker, I feel I may have established my credibility through the way I dressed and kind of my composure and just I only had 50 or less words on a note card as well so I feel through that way I was presenting myself as a credible speaker um, but I definitely did not do well with the credibility of my sources I got kind of nervous as the speech progressed um, that's just kind of normal for me though and the reason I did get nervous was because, I mean, it was the last speech of the year, it was a formal speech, and I just do not do well with those type of speeches. I think the audience thought it was somewhat humorous when I threw my cards in my speech, but other than that, I think they were just mildly interested, kind of great, I have to sit through this type of deal. Um, so I don't think they had any great reactions to the speech. Uh, some of the things that worked in my speech were my introduction and some of my quotes. Um, a lot of things that didn't work were my attempts at analogies. Also were the... Um, oh, the oral citations and just the whole planning of it. I didn't quite understand why. I understand why we planned it, but I don't understand... If it's supposed to be extemporaneous, why we use the whole outline, outline and all that. Uh, my areas, I definitely need more confidence. Um, and probably a lot better research when I do this speech next time, if I ever do it again. Some of the things that feel second nature would be having two or three points per thing. Um, my delivery-wise, I feel like I always have to do hand gestures, and this just kind of reinforced that a little bit. Another thing with the organization of the speech is now I feel like I've kind of prepared for everything, and that I should 
probably, for the most part, use note cards to refer to my speech. Thank you.